Lincolnshire Lancaster Association Open Day, October the 1st, 2022. It was a bright but very windy day. Its hall was held at RAF Coningsby, home of the Battle of Brit Memorial Flight. Perhaps in a few years' time they might ask just Jane to fly with the BBMF, City of Lincoln, on their open day. Tickets this year were limited to 1,500, free to members. What a scramble it'll be for tickets when this happens. If you remember, Dave made these fuselage formers in two parts. He has just ribbed them together, top and the bottom. It has made the structure now very firm and strong. Norm's doing a repair on one of the fuselage formers. Three rivets a minute then. <laughs> oh, I, I certainly improved. Once you get to swing a bit yeah. far in a minute. Yeah. I... This is a repair to one of the formers you didn't uh, renew then. Yeah, we, we decided that, that one was um, intact enough to keep, so yeah. just a bit of damage. There's quite still a bit of damage down. Why were you using such a broad tool on the gun? The, the, on that, I mean. Yeah. That's just a, a button snap so that you get coverage on the head. The, the smaller snap, if the gun moves a little bit, then it'll mark part of the skin. Oh, With that, that button snap, it, it covers over, it doesn't mark the skin. Quite a wide flat area. Oh, I can't find it, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's it, yeah. Nice radius all around the corner. So you get, get on, the, on the skin or wherever, and it's not going to mark it. Whereas you get a narrow flat snap. If you tilt one way or the, the edge of the snap will mark the skin. So it's just a safer option, these are. Yeah. Elephant foot, elephant foot, yeah. <laughs> Have you got a block up there behind it? Yeah, the small chunks have got very heavy, so it um, saves a lot of vibration on the end. Dennis is working through all the training edge panels, removing all the rivets and components for inspection. The trailing edge is part of the French wing. Slide underneath it. I see you've got some skin through painting. Yeah, they're all ready. Then on Sunday and Monday, um, paint is coming in is going to spray, spray all this. Oh, Sunday and Monday, is Yeah, it? so tomorrow we're going to um, put a bit of cloth in tent over it, get ready for it, and then he's coming yeah. Sunday and Monday again to spray it all. And then next week, we stop when the skin's on. Oh, that's good. But you won't be here though, will you? No, I'm old. <laughs> I'm sure that there will be a bit waiting for when I come back. But this week we've just been um, attaching the door all around and then all the, all these at the top of the door, so that, that's like rock solid now. Yeah. So Phil's door is in place. 
we'll say once it's sprayed, that's it. We've got a free so run. we'll get this sprayed Sunday and Monday, will he? Yeah, and then and we've got a free run to the end, then just put the skins on, which should, should yeah. be too much trouble. Now, where do you start at the bottom? Work up? Um, we'll probably probably see um, see which one. Well, norm number on them next week. So, yeah. Um, see where we start. It doesn't really matter. I'd like to probably get maybe this side finished and then do that. This side yeah. Do half at once. Yeah. yeah. Good. I received a comment on video 161 from Steve. He wanted to know were Clinko pins around in the 1930s 40s. I asked Keith about their equivalent skin pins. I've got a question for you. In the 1940s where they used skin pins, what did they use in 1940s? Skin pins. Were they around then? Yeah. Oh, right. Nobody knew, but the young boys over there didn't know. Uh, no. They weren't sprugs, didn't yeah. they? Oh, there were skin pins on the go then. Pardon? There were skin pins on the go then in the 40s. Yeah. When you look at it, I remember what they're like now. It's like a, a shaped piece of metal like this with a foot on it. And then they were like this. Yeah. And then they were like this. You've got through there the same sort of system with the little barby bit on yeah. there with a, a screw on the end and it was that, a, just yeah. like a little foot yeah it was like that wasn't it wasn't yeah it? like that yeah yeah, yeah. oh good oh, well, somebody it. asked asked the question what did they use yeah skin I, pins skin pins yeah <laughs> i have no idea anyway i asked yeah. dave and like preformed piece of steel. Yeah. And were they all different sizes too? Yeah, the same size, the yeah. same sort of thing. Get them all different sizes. Yeah. But they weren't colour coded then. No. No. Oh, thanks, Keith. I say this yeah, is. We did have some old ones somewhere. There's one more stringer to fit on the top side of the wing. The stringer requires a repair job before fitting. Some of the springers are bolted on. The others are. Sc are secured with skin pins. Very just on your shoulder. No, yeah. These are all the skins. These wing skins are ready for painting. This is number two fuel tank bay. John's working on number one fuel tank bay. You was working on on the steel bench, the um, but yeah, that's landing last, line. That's the last skin. Yeah, I've repaired everything else. And oh, have you? Replaced everything. Else so um, all the skins now are ready to. Yeah, they're all scuffing up, painting. Yeah. From this shot you can see the rivets on the insert of the repaired former Norman was working on. There's one more repair insert to be fitted on the port side and then it will be ready for painting.
Is that ready for riveting up then? Yeah, it should be. I didn't make it, but I made it. Done a good job of it. Just looks a bit weird there, that's all. I think uh, that skin doesn't. I think that, that row doesn't go in yet, so the other skin's in place. Oh, yeah. The other skin goes underneath. underneath yeah. Yeah, it's pulling the super. Yeah, we'll be able to get them on after Monday then if we had the tent up and sprayed it. Yeah, but that's, that's tomorrow's job, build a tent, big, build a big plastic tent. Yeah. Are they going to uh, just spray the frame and not the outside as well while he's here? He's just going to spray the frame inside in terms. Yeah. Yeah. Get it all yeah. finished and then do the outside. Well, we've got the two days while the public's not around, so you've got to get as much done as in the two days. Mm -hmm. So the, the important bit is the inside. Yeah. And you think anything that's silver needs spray and green. Yeah. And then when you've got that done, then we'll do another time to do some yeah. more painting. Yeah. What about those? Uh, we'll rub them down and probably give them another respray. Yeah. But again, it, it's, it's more important to get these. Yeah. Have they got, they haven't got any... Um... There's some cleats need to go on them still. Oh, I was going to say, they look yeah. a bit low. Yeah, there's a couple of cleats, but we, I need to put the skin back on to work out where the cleats are. That one's got its clean, but yeah. those two haven't yet. Mm. Yeah, there's a few more, once the skin's back on next week, there's a few more cleats still to go on. I'm surprised at how much clearance, you know, on, yeah. on that hole there. Yeah. yeah, On all of them, you know. They're yeah, they're all, I mean, that's an original, that's an original clean, that one as well, that one. Yeah. And that's, that's the, um, the basic measurement that came off the old, off the old oh, frames. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Right, thanks Norman, I'll let you That's get okay. on mate. Phil's not working this week, so Dave's finishing off the door frame. Doorway riveted top. When finished and painted, it will receive a wooden doorway surround. Not yet sure whether they'll use just Jane's door or make a new one. Phil has mentioned about the door frame being double skin. You can see from this finished video shot the two skins. John's pulling the strength on the stringer into line prior to riveting. Repair had to be done on this section due to corrosion. Norman on the last repair job on the port side of the rear fuselage, fitting the inserts. This insert was made some time ago by John.
Or is it me? It's just the length. It's a great bit. You don't, you don't work on centimetres or inches or millimetres. You work on numbers. That's that's a three and that's a five, so you can see a different length. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. You sat? In each sixteen. So that's eight, yeah. yeah, so that's three sixteenths long, the next one will be four sixteenths long, which is a quarter inch long. Yeah. You have to hold on the standing on, yeah. Is that okay that one? Yeah, we'll go with that. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. I'll roll them. Thursday, Dave and Norm have a few clues for little Tom and a final check of the frame. It will be then ready for painting. This will be done this weekend, Sunday and Monday, as the centre is closed this Monday. Tomorrow, Friday, Dave and Norm will erect a polythene type tent over the fuselage jig, ready for spraying of the frame.